guys? Hey, it's time for our reading lesson today. And <clears throat> one thing that you're going to do is um, read a story in your book called Landing on Your Feet. Um, it's right after the Biblioboro story, and you should still be able to read it in, online in the Wonders um, app. If you scroll down on the Canvas page, click on Wonders, and then once you log in, uh, click on the blue book over there. I think it's red book and blue dot, maybe. Um, and then you can listen to it if you don't want to read it, but you can certainly read it all on your own. Okay. And another thing that I want to do is kind of go over some of these words that we've talked about. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to read through each one of these. Our first word is idea. Okay. Idea. It says, if you have an idea about how to do something, you plan how to do it. Okay. Here's an example. Ling had an idea for how to make a paper crane. Okay. So an idea is when you make a plan to maybe solve a problem or something like that. Okay. So that's an idea. Our next word, across. Across. Okay. So if people go across something, they go from one side to another. Okay. You can go across a street. You can go across a bridge. You can go across a creek. I do that at my house in the uh, springtime when I'm mushroom hunting. We have to cross the creek, so we put on our big water boots and we go across the creek, okay, from one side to the other. Villages, villages, okay. They are small groups of houses out in the country, okay. We are a little bit more civilized and we don't really live in a village, but we do live in a small town. So back a long time ago, I was reading to you guys yesterday uh, about the pilgrims and the Native Americans. Those would be villages where a bunch of houses are put together, okay? So that's a village. Countryside. Countryside. Okay? The countryside is land that is away from the cities and towns, okay? Out in the countryside, you'll see a lot of crops. Maybe some fields with animals in them. Maybe just open, grassy fields. You might even see a lot of trees, maybe a small wooded area. Okay, so that's countryside. No, no big buildings, no skyscrapers, no apartments. Not that in the country. Okay. Solution. Okay. If you found an answer to a problem, you have found a solution. Okay. So maybe you at home. Um, here's a here's a perfect solution. So Jacob. When he was on his computer, he was having trouble hearing it. He couldn't hear what, what I was saying or the videos were saying. So he came up with a solution, and that was to use the little plug-in and use his um, headphones, and then he could hear. So when you have a problem, you figure out how to fix it. That's called the solution, okay? Our next word is lonely. Oh, that's me right now with no students. Lonely. If you're lonely, you're unhappy because you're all alone. Yeah, exactly. I'm so lonely. No kids in my class. Okay. Insists. If someone insists on something, they firmly say that it must be done. Okay. One thing I insist that you do for e-learning is put your name on every paper. Okay. I insist. Put your name on every paper. That means I want it done. Okay. So that's insist. But your parents are insisting a lot while you're home for e-learning. And last but not least is borrow. If you borrow something, you take it and agree to return it later. Okay? You don't keep it. You don't steal it. You borrow it. You use it, and then you give it back. Okay? Um, maybe you are having trouble with your computer at home during e-learning. And maybe you have an older brother or sister that have a computer that you could borrow. So you just use it and give it back. Okay? So those are our vocab words. I do have another story for us. This is called Giving Thanks, okay? And this is a Native American good morning message. So this is a story, um, and the Native Americans or the Indians liked to really give thanks, okay? And they really appreciated Mother Earth. Now, Mother Earth, if you guys don't know, I'm pretty sure you do, but if you don't know, Mother Earth is, is kind of where we live. We get a lot of things from Mother Earth. You know, we build a house out of wood. 
Where do we get the wood? From trees that Mother Earth grew for us, okay? We are hungry and we need to eat. So where do we get the food? Well, we grow crops on the earth from Mother Earth, okay? We um, are thirsty. We need water. Water comes from the streams on the earth. They, 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 rain falls out of the sky that we could use. So a lot of things come from the earth. Well, way back in the day when the Indians lived here, there were no towns. There were no cities. There was, no, there was nothing that they had that they didn't either get from the earth or make from the earth. Okay? So, giving thanks. Now, we should really be thankful for a lot of things, too. And at Thanksgiving is a time that we really focus on being thankful. So let's learn a little bit about this, okay? All right. It says, to be a human being is an honor. And we offer Thanksgiving for all the gifts of life. Mother Earth, we thank you for giving us everything we need. Thank you, deep blue waters around Mother Earth, for you are the force that takes thirst away of all living things. We give thanks to green grasses that feel so good against our bare feet for the cool beauty you bring to Mother Earth's floor. So in other words, when they're thirsty, they can go down to the creek and get water. And back then, Indians didn't just take, go to the store and buy shoes. Okay, so they were barefoot a lot. And so grass is much nicer to walk on than, you know, sticks and stones. So they want to be thankful for that. Thank you, good foods from Mother Earth, our life sustainers for making us happy when we are hungry. Fruits and berries, we thank you for your color and sweetness. We are all thankful to good medicine herbs for healing us when we're sick. They don't just run down to CVS and get medicine if they don't feel well. They get everything from the earth, the food, the medicine, everything. Thank you, all the animals in the world, for keeping our precious forests clean. All the trees in the world, we are thankful for the shade and warmth that you give us. Thank you, all the birds in the world, for singing your beautiful songs for all to enjoy. I love the pictures in this book, too. We give thanks to you, gentle four winds, for bringing clean air to us to breathe from all four directions. Thank you, Grandfather Thunder Beings, for bringing rains to help all living things grow. Elder Brother Sun, we send thanks for shining, your light and warming Mother Earth. Thank you, Grandmother Moon, for growing full every month to light the darkness for children and sparkling waters. They don't have electricity. They can't. They can't whip out a flashlight at night so they can see better. They can't get their cell phone out and turn on the light on the cell phone. They depend on the moon to see at night. We give you thanks, twinkling stars, for making the night sky so beautiful and for sprinkling morning dew drops on the plants. The dew is the, like when you walk through the grass and it's kind of wet and it hasn't rained, that's the dew. So at night, it kind of has a little bit of uh, mist and it settles on the grass and leaves and it's called dew. Spirit protectors of our past and present, we thank you for showing us ways to live in peace and harmony with one another. And most of all, thank you, Great Spirit, for giving us all these wonderful gifts so we will be happy and healthy every day and every night. So they are very smart people. They know that... Everything they need comes from the earth, okay? Um, did you see any Indians in there being thankful for video games? Probably because it's not something they need, okay? The Indians were thankful for everything they need. You need food to live. You need water to drink. 
you need shelter, you need the rain to help the plants grow, and they all come from the earth, and Indians know that. So this is an AR quiz. It is quiz number two, six, seven, four, five. Feel free to take a quiz on it, okay? You can rewatch the video to listen to the story again, um, but you can log into AR to take it. And um, one thing I'd like for you boys and girls to do is to email me one thing you need that you're thankful for. Do not email me and say you need a cell phone and you're so thankful to have one. Mm -mm. You don't need a cell phone, okay? So think about the things in this book that they're thankful for. You email me one thing that you're thankful for that you need. Okay, bye.